hey everyone welcome back in the previous video we are implementing that uh, uh, how to differentiate the administrator dashboard and the user dashboard and we did this we now uh, we are directing this admin dashboard on the admin slash dashboard and uh, directing the simple user on the slash home right so now we uh, the problem came that to uh, still simple user can access the admin dashboard so how to prevent this user to not access the administrator dashboard uh, even he knows the uh, he knows the what's the url of this administrator so he will not to access this route so how to do this so it's very simple so laravel middleware came here and solve our problem right Laravel middleware come here and solve our problem so now question arise that how to create the middleware so there is a command of pp artisan uh, make uh, a middleware and then here you need to specify your middleware name so i'm going to create the middleware name is admin if the ad user is admin so it will uh, access to the login uh, user otherwise um, if the user is an admin it will direct to the admin dashboard otherwise it will direct this user to the user dashboard so just type this uh, is uh, admin hit enter and yes it says that your admin uh, middleware is created inside app slash middleware is admin right so now let's visit this http middleware and there is an is admin middleware right it's created successfully okay before writing the logic of this middleware we need to register this middleware into the kernel file so there are two types of kernel files in the laravel one is http kernel and second one is console kernel so why what's the purpose of these two files this console uh, kernel is responsible for the commands right which are used for cron jobs so if you want to uh, execute the things like if you want to execute something on the after the 24 hour or after one hour so this uh, this will be used here you need to create some commands and then this will be executed automatically okay and uh, then here uh, this http kernel comes here so this one is responsible for middleware and some middleware of web api and your custom middlewares right you can also group uh, these middlewares right and here i'm going to uh, register my user uh, register my administrator middleware into this uh, kernel file so where i need to add this so i need to add it here or i need to add it here or i need to add it here or i need to add it here right so i'm adding it middleware aliases here right so first i need to add an aliases right so i want to uh, name this is uh, admin like this right or you can also do this without space like uh, this right it's totally up to you how you uh, like this right or you can also do this like is admin maybe or but i like to do this like this right and here i'm going to uh, type uh, slash app oops slash app to slash http and then after this http you need to go to the middleware and then this middleware contain that is admin file and class and like this right so here you can also switch to this direct file that if this file uh, this path is working so then you can switch into this file okay this one is working that's great okay so now let's move to this uh, middleware is admin and uh, here i want to add a logic right i want to add a logic that if the user is uh, admin so do this otherwise do this right so we are going to instruct this middleware right okay so here first we are going to check that user is logged in or not so here if auth auth check right or you can also use this uh, 
auth user so it will return the login user if the user is logged in then it will return this user right so here i'm going to add the check and if the user is logged in then you need to perform the rest of the things right so here well, the very first thing is our both user will be logged in our admin is also your logged in and our user will be also logged in so now if the user is logged in so we want to detect that user is logged in and we need to redirect this on the dashboard so here if uh, auth right auth user uh, basically this auth user will return the logged in user right for example here i'm logged in as diet nazi so this auth user will return the object of logged in user right so it will return the hadayat niazi uh, data from the database right okay so here i'm uh, telling this that uh, if uh, it, this will return my object right so in my object here i have this uh, is admin field right so i want to call this uh, is admin right uh, don't hesitate it's very simple is admin right i'm calling this my user is admin i'm basically checking my role here and then try this equal 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 so let me differentiate between these equal equal here right i will uh, do this uh, in a minute uh, equal equal zero or one so it means that user is an administrator right so here you don't need to do this like this right return some view you don't need to return this here you need to copy this line and add this stuff here right and you need to execute it at uh, uh, at uh, at least one time for example to uh, this condition is uh, wouldn't execute it. this condition is wouldn't be executed so this will throw an error um, it will retry try try and resubmit request and fail this out right so make sure to execute this uh, in the if or in the else right at this condition okay so here i'm checking that if my user role is one so pass this request if the user role is not uh, one so return i want to redirect my user on the uh, which uh, one i want to redirect this on this uh, on this home right so we can also make this user dot home right so here if i go here and type route right and then here i'm going to type the route name but before this i need to type this redirect and then i need to type this route and what's the route name it's uh, user dot home right this one we can direct this our user but this one is a little bit longer line it's used in the older version of laravel so how you can instantly redirect this with the one helper we use two helper but how to redirect this with the one helper using this uh, on this uh, user home so just type two routes which is added in the laravel 9 and then type your routes i want to direct this on the user home so in this way you will also learn that uh, what's uh, the what's uh, used in the previous version and what's the new uh, new helper in the new version right so you will also get updated about the previous stuff so that's why i said that it's so uh, uh, it's advanced series it will teach you uh, all of the things okay so we are saying that if the user is logged in as administrator and it's so uh, is admin column is equal to one so pass this request otherwise it turn this user on this home page okay here now this will uh, still uh, didn't apply why because uh, we have not implemented this any of the route right if i go here and give it a refresh nothing is changed right so now how to apply this on the on the route so just go to the web.php file and uh, there is there are two ways to implement this middleware the very first is implement this on the route right and second one is implement this in the controller construct method right okay so what's the good mm, good one right so 
uh, if you edit this in the controller in the construct method so if you have uh, 100 routes and a new developer came and uh, want to read your code and also want to see that uh, on this controller which route is uh, implemented so he or she need to go to this uh, route and then in the construct method he can view this that uh, which middleware is applied on this home controller right but uh, remove this uh, burden from this developer if you or any other developer uh, come in the future and you want to uh, read your code so he can read it instantly without any confusion right so just add this here on this uh, on this route so he can instantly read all of the routes middleware that if we have 10 middleware so uh, home contain this uh, auth middleware this second one contain this middleware and they can instantly read all of the routes instead of going to the all of the uh, points right so here there is a helper of uh, middleware middleware right and in the middleware you need to add the middleware name right so here uh, we created this is admin right save this one oops i added this in the wrong route so let me add this so uh, into this one right so because we are in this admin dashboard here we open this admin dashboard right so i did this is admin right and if i go here and visit this out the user role is zero uh, that means you logged in and here if I will refresh this out so this will be kicked back on the user slash home right so let's give it a refresh refresh and yes it's kicked back on the home why if I go here and still visit this admin slash dash board hit enter and yes kicked back so this middleware is protecting that this one is a protected route if your uh, role is uh, isn't admin you cannot visit this route right if i go here and change this to one right and go here and change this to the admin slash dashboard hit enter yes you can still visit this page right you can if you can still change this out so this will be again redirected on the home page so it's protecting this request to uh, user cannot visit any of the uh, any of your files because this route is responsible for opening any of the files so this route is also protecting that uh, you cannot uh, access the route if you are not an admin right that's the great thing to implement this out and here i want to teach you one more thing that uh, if you have uh, multiple middleware like in this case uh, if the user is uh, not logged in right uh, for example in this user uh, home this one is a uh, admin dashboard home so both user will logged in uh, login right so here this one also contain laravel by default contain a middleware which name is auth so auth is basically for checking that user is logged in or not if your user, your user is logged in here so it will automatically check that this user is logged in if you are not logged in so it will not allow you to visit this uh, uh, dashboard right so that's why i'm adding this auth functionality here right and if i go here in the construct method i'm going to remove this out but still it will work right because we added this uh, route on this uh, uh, on this uh, uh, here right so let me add this middle where i added this name helper okay i add this uh, auth here so here if i go ahead and refresh it yes i can access this out right if i go here and access this home so i will i cannot access this it's redirected me on the login right so if i go here and type this home and to remove this middleware from there so enter home and yes i can still uh, visit this dashboard right there is a login and dashboard it means i'm not logged in so here at this middleware it will kick me back on the login page yes kick me back on the login page so this auth middleware comes by default to the Laravel. 
okay now we have is admin middleware and we have another uh, middleware which is come by default with the laravel which is auth so how we can add two middleware in one route so it's a uh, little bit too confusing that how we'll add this so if we will call this uh, again middleware middleware helper like this no you don't need to call this like this you need to remove this middleware from there and add an array here and then you need to type your first middleware in the first key and then second one in the second and then this will also work as same it's doing in the previous one right so contact at the rate of cdlcell.com yes logged in great now it's working fine so here we implemented this auth here there auth here right uh, yes no now it's going bigger and what if i want to protect uh, these both uh, this one is also using this middleware and this one is also using this auth middleware so why i'm calling this two times here i'm calling this auth and here i'm also calling this cot so why not to group them into one route so let me add a group route here i'm going to now group my these two routes into one so if you didn't understand don't take it easy i will explain it route and then you need to type middle pair and here i'm calling this auth middleware and then i need to call this group because i want to group these routes and then this one except to as closure and here this thing right and now let's copy these both one and implement this out here save this one and i added this middleware at the top right so i don't need to add this middleware here and this middleware here right so i've added this auth at the top so we don't need to add this two times so that's great thing so here we easily implemented this thing if i give it a refresh it's successfully working fine right so in this way you can group your route so if you have an admin route or uh, simple user route so you can group them into this sequence right and we will also group further user uh, user controller uh, user routes administrator route inside this uh, uh, inside uh, another group right so this will uh, going to we are basically going to structure our all of the routes so it's more readable and more uh, reusable code right okay i want to add this administrator at the top here so this will not change anything i just added this at the top because i want to add the admin routes at the top and then user routes at the i add the second one right okay uh, so now uh, our user is uh, let me make this an admin and visit this uh, admin slash dashboard and yes i'm still able to access this dashboard so here uh, whenever our user is uh, registering we want to assign some default uh, points right because we are building building the points system uh, basically reward system is a uh, we are uh, building the reward system we want to reward our user so whenever a user is coming to our system so we want to reward this user with some points right so administrator will also uh give some points to this user right so we'll do this in the uh next one and uh, if you like this video don't forget to share your feedback it will help me to shoot videos as you want right i will also add some other stuff if you um, or if uh, maybe something i'm using it to uh, explaining it too much times so i will skip this out right so i want to listen your feedback that to uh, how much you like this series and uh, then i will shoot other videos uh, with your feedback so thank you so much for watching this video and i will meet you in the next one bye bye guys